Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you my DIY ESP32 based PLC which is a low-cost programmable logic controller that you can use for small industrial or home automation projects such as automatic machine control, home automation system, greenhouse automation, water level and pump control, garage door automation, lighting control, alarm and monitoring system, conveyor control, HVAC mini control panels and many more. So without further ado, let's start this video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notified about my new videos. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have a second channel Canny Tech, do check it out as well. Subscribe and support it. All the links are in the description. If you have been following my recent projects, you know I've already built a couple of DIY PLCs using Arduino and one using ESP8266, the Node MCU. Those projects worked great and they are still running reliably in their respective setup. But now I wanted to take things a step further. This time I'm building a more professional, robust and stable PLC using ESP32. My previous PLCs were based on mechanical relays and while they did the job well, there are some limitations. Mechanical relays are slower to switch, generate audible clicking noise, have limited life cycle due to moving parts and can wear out over time under heavy switching load. So for this new design, I decided to switch to solid state relays. These are electronic switching devices with no moving parts and they bring several key advantages. Silent operation, no clicking sound, high speed switching, longer lifespan and better performance under frequent switching or AC load. To keep things low cost and DIY friendly, I'm not using off the shelf SSR modules. Instead, I have designed a custom solid state relays using trikes and optocouplers, which are two core components of any SSR. To make the build more professional and error free, I designed a PCB for this project. It helps reduce wiring mess and makes everything plug and play. And this video is sponsored by JLC PCB, one of the largest and most reliable PCB manufacturers. Whether you are a maker or a professional, they offer high quality PCB fabrication, SMT assembly and super fast delivery at an affordable price. Now let's head over to the computer and start working on the PCB layout for this project. First design your PCB layout using your preferred PCB design software and then generate Gerber files. These files include all necessary information JLC PCB needs to fabricate your board. Now open your browser and go to jlcpcb.com and click on instant code. Then upload your Gerber files. JLC PCB will automatically analyze your files and display a preview of your PCB. Now it's time to configure board options. You can choose PCB thickness, color, surface finish, copper weight, number of PCBs, solder mask and silk screen options. Set these according to your needs. Once everything looks good, click on save to cart. Then enter your shipping address. Be sure to provide accurate information, your name, phone number, full address and zip code to avoid delivery issues. Choose a shipping method. Now proceed to payment. JLC supports multiple options, choose the one you prefer and complete the payment process. After payment, your order will enter the production queue and that's it. In just a few easy steps, your custom PCB will be on its way from JLC PCB's factory to your doorstep. Here's the PCBs, let's start placing the components and solder them.
So I've soldered all the components. This PLC is built for real world control with the AC capable outputs. It opens the door to a wide range of automation tasks. It has 10 digital inputs all optically isolated and designed to work with standard 5 volt logic signals that makes it compatible with a wide variety of industrial sensors such as limit switches, push buttons, proximity sensors, photoelectric sensors and selector switch. Here's how each input works. A 100 ohm resistor is connected to input terminal block. This resistor is connected in series with an LED and PC817 optocoupler. The output of optocoupler is connected in common collector configuration to ESP32's GPIO through a 1K pull-down resistor. For outputs, it has 10 digital outputs controlled by TRIAC which is basically a solid state relay making it perfect for controlling AC load. You can use it to switch indicators, relays, AC motors, solenoid valves, lighting, heating elements and pumps. Each ESP32 GPIO is connected to a 100 ohm resistor then in series with LED and to the input of MOC3021 optotrike. The output of MOC3021 goes to the gate of BT136 trike through a 220 ohm resistor allowing us to switch AC loads. Now let's move on to programming this PLC using open PLC editor. Write your logic using letter diagram or any other language. Click transfer to PLC, a new window pops up, go to IO configuration tab, set the board type to ESP32, now configure your digital inputs as the following GPIOs and configure your outputs as the following GPIOs. Now go back to transfer tab and click transfer to PLC. Our program is uploaded. Now let's see the PLC in action. When I press the button, the output turns on. I've got a few example code ready. Let's upload and test them one by one. That's the ESP32 based PLC, compact, affordable and powerful enough for both hobby and industrial projects. 
check the description for PCB design schematic. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos like that and I will see you in the next video.